You know, we were just talking about kids and, and some of the things that are happening, but last night, CNN's Van Jones had a, had a disturbing theory about one of the things that may have led to Trump's victory. Take a look. I mean, we've talked about everything but race tonight. We've talked about income. We've talked about class. We've talked about region. We haven't talked about race. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. And Donald Trump has a responsibility tonight to come out and reassure people that he is going to be the president of all the people who he insulted and offended and, and, and brushed aside. So, what do you think? I agree about the unity part, about Trump's need to bring everyone together, but I disagree about the white lash. And the reason is that President Obama got elected, he got elected in 2008, and he got reelected. And a lot of white people came out and voted for him. He got a lot of those voters. The country united in 2008. I don't care if you were Hispanic or African American or Caucasian, I don't care what you were. You united under his message of hope and change, and then you reelected him. So I don't think people were rejecting President Obama. This had nothing to do with race for me. This had to do with two flawed candidates and people wanting change. Just the way they did want in 2008, they wanted change. And this time they wanted an outsider, and they looked at Hillary Clinton and they said, I don't think she's going to bring change. I think she's part of the establishment. The system is broken. She's part of a broken system. Let's go with someone else. Pre President Obama did not pour gasoline on racism and say, go light a match. He did not do that. This guy did that. That's the difference between Obama and Trump. But they weren't voting against President Obama. They're voting against this, Hillary Clinton. This guy Clinton. exacerbated and pulled out of the woodwork all the racism that was underlying there. One thing that... One thing that happened, though, um, I was actually talking with Matthew Dow behind the scenes, and he was saying that some of the people that didn't actually show up were Democrats. And one of the things that could be identified as a problem is right away from the beginning, everyone put their weight behind, well, Hillary will be the, the, the candidate. It was almost like, I'm not saying any systems were rigged. I'm just saying the DNC in their own mind and everyone in the public right. had decided Hillary's going to be our, our representative but they maybe didn't listen to what other people in the party may have wanted because that was the number that didn't reflect what everyone else was saying. Yeah, I, that's probably true. That they didn't have a really enough of a primary yeah, fight to yeah. really go back and right. forth. And Donald Trump right. actually had a higher turnout in Latino and black voters than Mitt Romney did. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah. And he said the system was rigged. Yeah, right. <laughs> You know, can I say one more thing? Yeah. You know, because um, Matthew Dowd made this point about how, I just was thinking while he was here, about how the uh, leaders of the country follow the people. Mm -hmm. Remember when he said that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that may be true in some cases, but in this particular case, the FBI has, has stuck its two cents right into the middle of the election. So it's not, you know, the, in other words, it, it reeks of some kind of a nefarious outsider, the FBI, coming into the middle of the process. So it's not just about the people. It's about these organizations that are like, I don't want to use the word conspiring, but who are involved in our freedoms. But that's, that's, the people, the, that's the problem the right people now. Who, uh, many of the people who voted for him agree with you, and, and maybe not in the same respect with respect to the FBI, but they're saying the system is broken. The establishment is broken. We had WikiLeaks emails saying there was collusion between the Justice Department yeah, but, and the know, Clinton those campaign. Wiki, those WikiLeaks came from uh, not a necessarily a good source, and people went to town on them. Well, they weren't so, disavowed, though. But, Nobody came out and said but, this isn't yeah, true. Well, but, you know, if you're using crappy stuff, what do you, uh, why, why do I have to say, hey, this is crap when you know it's crap? Why do I have because to Because we identify? don't know, voters don't know. Unless well, you say then, this you know isn't what? true, they I, don't I, know. I, I don't, even, that doesn't work. Listen, you can say that there was no white lash. There was a little bit of white lash. I remember, <laughs> I, I have to say, you know, I, I watched what's happened in America over the last eight years. Yeah, he did win. Uh, four years ago and from that time also came all of the jokes about he's not American he's not this he's not that uh, and you know hearing people make sort of the kind of off off-center racist joke that isn't you about know his children that, or, even. or uh, someone who said uh, and then I'm not gonna say who it was but it was somebody sort of high up who said you know could think of it this is a guy that would have been parking my car and I looked at him who said that I'm not telling you who said it all right <laughs>
Tell me later. But I, I, <laughs> tell me later. No, because the point is not who said it. It's the point it is said. that it was said. Yeah. You yeah. know, and from you know accusing him of looking like a curious George, all the stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so suddenly when you hear all of this and you hear all the obstructionist stuff, and you think, well, damn. Mm -hmm. well, you wouldn't not be obstruction. You wouldn't be doing this to somebody else. Why are you doing this? Well, the whole so birthday thing was so based on his to, race. You, you yeah. have to, and you don't have to understand it. You don't have to get it. Mm -hmm. But people of color know what this means. We know because it's part of the underlying conversation. Because it's been part of our conversation for eight years. Because no president has ever had to deal with this. None. Like, so there is a lot of that, and whether you agree with it or not, as a black person and a person of color and a person who's been paying attention to this, there it does have some of that. And don't you think that there's he's that not on the white ballot. people were you not listen on the, you But I feel I honestly feel if, if if President Obama could have run for a third term, I think he would have beat Donald he Trump. He I think he would have won. But that's not racism then though. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. That's it's not about whether underlying. whether uh President Obama is running. Mm -hmm. It's been you what you've heard for the last four years is you know, he doesn't speak for us. He doesn't know anything about us. He doesn't have our, our best interests in heart. Who is who are they talking about? He's an American president trying to help you. People are going to say that about Trump, though, and that's not going to always be about race. For some, absolutely. What is there race? What part am I missing with you? What part am I missing <laughs> the that part you're not you can't? No, because I don't think you can call, you can label everything that it comes from don't, the lens of listen, race. I'm not, not labeling everything. anything racism. I'm saying that's what it feels like. Okay. <coughs> so that's what it looks I don't like. Too. You know, this is why black people don't want to talk to white people because you can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all just have to hold on. Yeah. Because anytime you say, hey, this is what it feels like, people say, oh, you're bringing out the race car. Yeah. So it makes you not want to have the conversation. I because hear what, what you have to say. Because what you make me feel like is I'm not, I'm not, what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. When I'm telling you this is why I feel like this and this is what's happening and this is why. So when you say it's all about, it's not ever all about, right. as Van said, in part, mm -hmm. this is what yeah, it feels right. like. So that's what I'm talking okay. about. We'll I got be you right back. back. Okay.